environmental destruction, social inequality and discrimination, loss of ancestral domains, poverty and lack of education. All these are the issues and problems that indigenous people struggle of, striving and seeking rights that are blatantly disregarded and violated. Philippines is the home of almost 100 indigenous groups with diverse cultures, practices, and origins. Land is closely linked to their identity. Their economics, spiritual, and social culture are connected to their social domains. However, the ownership of their domains were somewhat disregarded. People exploit their lands and violate their rights. Sikan na ako no kay ang ay kaigtabang, igtabang yung kanami. No sila nga pata yung kukagtabang kanami. So kanami sa ini, warad mo siyan pagkukpo na ito. So terbaho na ito kung to, yan o siwal kawawin ng mga ito terbaho na ito. Nagat na maramara sika no kag pangimatay ko kaya ko. Makalulog kayo sa ito. Inong dati nun din na ito sa kaniwa ito ng mga mayo. In response to this, Philippines established a system for the protection of the rights of the indigenous people. And one of these systems is the Republic Act Number 8371, or also known as the Indigenous Peoples Rights Act, or IPRA of 1997. The IPRA was considered as the most important legal framework for the protection of the IPs in the Philippines. This law promotes and recognizes the rights of indigenous cultural communities or indigenous people with a view to preserve their culture, traditions, and institutions, ensuring the equal protection and non-discrimination of members. Their rights include, first, rights to ancestral domains, including the right of ownership, the belt of land and natural resources, stay in the territories in case of displacement, regulate entry of migrants, safe and clean air and water, claims parts of reservations, and to resolve conflict. Second is right to self-governance and empowerment, including the right to use their own justice system, conflict resolution institutions, and peace-building processes, right to participate in decision-making, to determine and decide priorities for the better. Third is social justice and human rights, including state provision of equal protection and non-discrimination, rights during armed conflict, equal opportunity in treatment, basic services, and the guarantee of the rights of women, children, and youth. Last is cultural integrity, including the rights of state protection of indigenous culture, traditions, and institution, right to control and establish their own ed educational system, community, intellectual rights, religious, cultural sites, and ceremonies. Indigenous knowledge systems and practices and to develop their own science and technologies, access to biological and genetic resources, and sustainable agrotechnical development. In general, the IPRA grants ownership rights to a territory comprising of the area or areas that they can claim as their ancestral domain, as well as the natural resources within the domain. It also grants right to self-governance, social justice, and human rights, and the right to cultural integrity. All with the indigenous people, diverse culture and practices, Philippines become more colorful and vibrant. Though we speak different languages and dialects, profess different spiritual beliefs, and uphold different ideologies, we all share a common aspiration for human rights. Indigenous people deserve empowerment. Indigenous people deserve to strengthen their identity. Indigenous people deserve social justice. Indigenous people deserve human rights. Indigenous, indigenous rights, rights matter. matter. The issues and problems that the indigenous people <laughs>